It is spring break 2022 and we're finally traveling as a family again. And I wanted to go somewhere that I could check off my bucket list of somewhere I've always wanted to go. This is St. Martin, an island that is shared between France and Netherlands. So today, yes, we have the beach behind us, but I'm not here for the beach. I'm here for the airport that is next to the beach. They don't have very much land to put an airport. And so these massive planes come in and they land right here on this runway. Here comes a little tiny baby plane. Even if you just come for the beach, I would say it's worth it, but seeing the airplanes land and take off so close is a little dangerous, so be careful. But I definitely recommend you put this on your bucket list and get out here, because it's pretty awesome. Look at all these people waiting to watch you on their four-wheelers. <laughs> They're everywhere. This is the spot to be when you're in St. Martin. But then what's cool about it is while you're waiting for the planes to either land or take off, you can hang out at this beach that has pretty good waves. The waves are massive. It's like too dangerous to even swim out there. <laughs> Some of these people are getting absolutely wrecked by these waves. Now we get to see what it feels like to have the actual air from the jet blow our way. We're in the blast zone. I really don't want to get a rock in my eyeball. Oh boy. Holy moly! That was legit! Holy smokes! Where, where are you going? Did <laughs> you get hit? Uh, yes, all the sand was oh. blowing me and the waves were crashing my head. Like, oh my god. You were in the god. good spot. You got sand all over your I face. Can't even know. It's everywhere. <laughs> it's like an exfoliation. Here, you go hold up there. You go up there. I'm going to film you. Go. How was that one? Oh, let it go. It's gone. I think those people blocked you. You stood behind a wall. Oh, here he goes. I lost my hat. That one kicked my butt. Where is the hat? Can we get it? It's going further and further. Goodbye, hat. You've been a good hat. I'll miss you. How'd it go? I lost my hat. No! It's in the ocean. That hat. It's gone forever. Okay, for this one, I'm gonna stand right here out of the blast zone and film all the tourists getting wrecked. There's so many right now. We're going to a place called Penal Island, and it's essentially just this tiny island that has a restaurant on it at nighttime. There's nobody here, but during the daytime, people bring their boats up here to just hang out and eat. Okay, so there's two ways to get inside of the restaurant. There's this little charter that's part of the restaurant that like comes and just picks you up, which is nice. Or it's not that deep, I don't think. We can just get out and like walk up to the sand. So I'm definitely getting out. Woo! That feels good. Okay, come on girls, you wanna walk or you take the boat? What? All right, so the water I can say is officially warm. That was a nice little walk and it smells crazy good. So I think it's time to eat. How was the boat ride? It was very calm and not too wet. Like not it too was, wet. No. How was the big boat ride? Was, I liked, We had some good shots of you putting the hat in front of your face. The well, salt would get in my eye. Okay, so here's the ocean out here. And then this is our table right here. We're just like in the sand. We're not in the building, but we're like literally eating on the beach. This is nice. Okay, let me zoom in on your shirt real quick. Captain Joe, this is Joe. That's your actual name, Joe? Oh uh, yeah. That's perfect, <laughs> Captain Joe. Easy to remember. <laughs> so he took us around the island and it's pretty cool because most of the island is kind of like lagoons. Eat here first, they do have a beach, but then we're gonna go to a place that's like a different beach and we want Captain Joe to eat with us, so they just brought out a chair for him. Would you like some water, Odie? 
That food is really good. We're just like out on this random island and all they have here is a restaurant. So one thing that they did mention is we had some leftover lettuce and they said there are iguanas here, like lots of them, and they like lettuce. And they're used to people giving them lettuce on this island. It's just what happens. So we're gonna go find them right now. Get a bigger one. Num, 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 num. Oh, that's a fancy boat. It looks like a cyber truck. <laughs> so now we head back and Leslie's gonna take the little taxi boat over to the thing and then me and the girls, we gotta walk over. I'm just gonna try not to wreck the camera, but we're gonna walk over to it because, come on. It's kinda cold. It is kinda cold. All right, we made it to the beach. Good waves right here. I looked for turtles for a while. I didn't see any turtles, but I saw lots of fish out there, so that was good. London just made a sandcastle, but then a wave came in and wrecked it. That's just just like there. that. See what? There's like stacks of stuff. Yeah, it's a sacred ground. It's where the penguins come every year till they ache. We have come to the land of many rocks stacked on top of each other. This one doesn't look like it made it. Look at all of these ancient rock towers everywhere. Been here for thousands of years. Never been fallen over since the original settlers that came with Christopher Columbus. Wait, no, that's wrong. Ta -da. Ta -da. There's our tower. We did it. Yeah. What should we call this tower? This is Tower of Martin. No pictures, she says. No pictures. Where's Lennon going? She wants to just float in the water. Oh, we okay. made a sand hole. Right now we're at a place called Fort Louis, which was an old fort that they used to shoot guns and cannons out to protect the island, I guess. And it's been here for a lot of years. This is the French side of the island. It's a little bit of a hike, but not bad. And the view up here is amazing. So that's one thing I like about this island is that you have mountains and hills that you can actually look out and see things. If you ever come to St. Martin, I definitely recommend going up to the top of the fort. It's pretty easy. It's a little windy today up here, but the view is worth it. That is a professional. Gotta get the shot, gotta get the angle. <laughs> goats are crossing the road. Get out of the way, goats. Look at this tree with the roots coming out of the sides of it. It looks like it's straight out of the show Lost. I mean, come on, look at this. What's inside of the pineapple? An actual virgin strawberry, no, not strawberry, pina colada. Well. Yeah. How is the pizza? Oh, that looks good. Every day, each and every one of us what gets up, goes to work, pays taxes to maintain this country. Okay, check out this dude. He's at the very top of the tree up here. I mean, look at this, when I zoom out, that's literally the top of that tree and he's just hanging out at this fancy place where we've got like a pool and a cabana. Here's Claire chilling in her poolside cabana at this fancy place called Lottery Farms. And look at this, you have pools, there's zip lines, we can order whatever food we want. And we have like three hours to hang out by the pool and go on zip lines and hike, so sounds like a fun day. We're gonna be here for a couple of hours, but there's a big old zip line right there with people coming down. We're gonna go up to one of the tallest peaks on the entire mountain. So we get to take a tram up to the top, and then it's a beautiful view where you can see the entire island. That's a big zip line, guys. You a little you terrified? Awesome. A little bit. You at least neither them. of you have done zip lines, have you? I've done a big zip line that was way bigger than this, and I can confirm it was quite terrifying, but also fun. We are getting really high up here, not in the drug sense, <laughs> but in the elevation altitude sense. We're so high in the sky, and it's a little frightening to look back. Just don't look down. It's a little high, right? Yeah. We're getting close, but it still looks really far away. Like it's so tall up there. Look how far up there that is. And then I do see rainstorms off in the distance. 
the wind is picking up. I hope there's shelter up there. I think we're gonna be right up there pretty soon. It's starting Woo! to rain. <laughs> it's raining harder. Yeah, we found the rain. We are on a much shorter one now. This one takes us to the top, to the Flying Dutchman. good the GoPro can show this, but there is the airport. There's a little plane taking off right now. That really shows you how small the airport is and the planes have to land and take off there. Yesterday when we were there, the wind was blowing so hard that it actually helped the airplanes to be able to have a slower speed when they land. And then when they take off, they would take off faster. So, so I'm curious to see on days when it's not windy down there. Why is it not windy up here anymore? The rainstorm passed. They gave us this, it's for our hair. So our hair doesn't get caught in the zip line. Look at that hairnet, hairnet, <laughs> hairnet, looking good. This is fun. I'm a little nervous. It's an interesting zip line process. The way that it works is they have the harness that you wear, but then the connection goes all the way down to the bottom and then they bring it all the way back up to the top. I know that it drops now after watching them. Wow, I would have been a little scared. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna be allowed to hold this GoPro stick. I'm gonna be very careful with it. But uh, if you come here, don't plan on recording because we got special permissions. Whew. I'm nervous, are you nervous? I'm so nervous. Which I'm side so should I go on to film you? That side? Yeah. Okay. Oh, look at this. Look how steep that is. Oh, not to be nervous about. You only got a little butterflies in your stomach on the <laughs> first drop, but the rest of it is a smooth race. Okay, that's good to know. I gotta be honest, I'm super nervous right now. He said, don't be nervous, it's fine, but I get nervous. I mean, it's so high, the drop is so steep. <sighs> Elbows in, like. at the end is the best part. Call it a crash. We call it a slow descent. Slow descent. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Controlled descent. How about that? How'd it go, Claire? You went way farther. I know. I'm way heavier than you. <laughs> yeah, she was kung fu fighting. <laughs> she came out like Bruce Lee. <laughs> I know. I almost hit him in the head. I hit these springs and almost broke them. I'm so heavy. Yeah. <laughs> Uh-oh. Get it. Go get it. Go get it. Oh, it's gone. There goes the hairnet. Thank you. Okay guys, how was it? That was, it was so fun. fun. I, I thought loved it. I was gonna like turn around, then you're supposed to like stop. But I thought I was gonna like die or something. Right? Thought you were gonna die at the end? But it was were like, you scared when it first dropped at the beginning? Kind of, yeah. Mom was terrified. I wasn't yeah. terrified. I scream when I'm having fun, so. I closed my eyes for the first 10 seconds yeah. for the drop and everything. Why? I get scared, okay? <laughs> I do. I'm a little yeah. afraid of things. Get your heart rate going. Woo! If you come into town, make sure you do one of these rainforest adventures. There's some tubing things you can do, but the zip line, that is worth the trip for sure. We are at the Belmont La Semana, which is a very, very nice hotel right on the edge of the cliffs and on the beach. 
And we're here for lunch today. We're going to go to the beach. The girls are gonna get some massages. Good way to end our last full day to check out one of the best hotels on the entire island and test out the food, which has been a theme for this trip. Turns out they have like a food tour, like a gastronomy tour of food from a lot of the really good restaurants that are on the French side of the island here at St. Martin. We've been able to try a lot of the really good foods while we've been here. And it's definitely been exciting and a treat and like foods from all over the world. Thank you for the ride. Thank you so much. Look at these bushes. Wow. See, there are villas all along the tops of those cliffs, and then they also have them down here. One of the most beautiful beaches with some decent waves. Like, you can go out there and swim. There's people swimming way out there. A lot of the yachts and boats will come here and just park their boat and come have lunch for the day and enjoy the beach. Is this our little hut right here? Yes. You like so it? So cute. Yes, I love it. Lights on. So it is cute. so cute right here. Oh yeah, the lights are awesome. The food at La Semana has arrived. I got a club sandwich and french fries. We like really fancy food, us Americans. A nice Caesar salad. It's so good. And don't you take my fries. Most important part of the meal, the dessert time. London was looking behind like, why is he filming in this direction? Is there something behind me happening? No, it's you. I'm filming you eating chocolate and sorbet. And then I got a virgin mango daiquiri. And then this is some sort of cheesecake with chocolate on the edges, whipped cream, and like a mango sauce. It looked a lot prettier before we ate it. I love going to tropical islands. If you didn't know, I was born in the Philippines, and I lived there for a few years of my life, speak the language, and my favorite thing there is having fresh mangoes and mango smoothies and drinks. So if you remember from yesterday, my hat was lost in the ocean because the airplane blew it off my head. I thought I had to get hold of it. I didn't. So at La Samana, this is the place where all the hats are. These are the options. You have these ones that say X S X X M, which I think is for like St. Martin. Yes. That's kind of what it stands for. I don't know. If you're going to be here, you might as well go all in. So uh, we are staying at La Samana. So somebody painted this hat, and they painted the villas on the cliffs. I'm choosing this one. It cost an extra $5 because of the painting, but $5, totally worth it, right? That's great. Really good. What do you think mom will think of my hat? Yep, exactly. Are you ready to see one of the most beautiful hotel lobbies I've ever seen? Or most beautiful ones in the whole world? Get ready for this. I mean, come on, you see that? That is gorgeous. Right when you look out, you just see this water and then the ocean behind. Amazing, and I'm not even using my really good camera today. It would look even better with my fancy camera, but this one just is better for vlogging. This is the spot, let me throw my hat on that matches the cliff side over there. <laughs> All right, we made it to the beach. We are right actually next to the restaurant. It's just right here. And then we have poolside not cabanas, but like umbrellas and chairs. They brought us water on ice over there, still water, not sparkling. And then the beach is just right there and we also have access to the pool. We should probably go swimming. Should we go swimming? Yeah, we should go swimming. Yeah, it's really hot. We gotta get in the water. All right, Hat, you're staying here. It does look like that. It's so cool. It's like the matching to the cliffs. We were not paid to make this video, but the St. Martin Tourist Office did provide accommodations. All right, girls, so here we are in our final day, our final hour of being here. Thoughts on the trip, Claire? I thought it was super fun. I liked going on the boat ride and like getting outside. I don't think we've been to an ocean for like a long time. I loved it. I mean, we miss Lincoln, of course, but I love spending time as a family. And I love that it was culturally a little bit different. I love that there's, they speak French and there's different aspects that they wouldn't see otherwise, so. Lennon, what did you like about this trip? I liked some of the food and the ocean was fun, but then it's not really fun when you like smash into the wave and then get like wrecked. But it was really fun to go see all the dogs that were on the road. <laughs> yes, Lennon yeah. likes to make sure all the dogs 
if they're strays, have food. So we went to the grocery store and she's been feeding treats to the dogs. And I think a lot of them had homes. They had collars on, but they were just chilling outside. So we got dog treats and we just randomly give them to dogs. I think we would definitely come back to St. Martin someday. And there's a place called La Samana that we went to for the beach that I might want to try staying there or we just stay at another villa. I think there's plenty of places to stay. So anyways, there we go. Spring break 2022. We actually left and went somewhere for the first time in a long time. I feel like the world is getting back to normal a bit. So if you're looking for some unique place to visit, I definitely recommend St. Martin. And now we take the travel back, which is two flights back to Las Vegas, Nevada. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Time to go home. Bye. So whenever I go to an island, I like to eat frozen smoothies, but Leslie is doing weird hand gestures to me right now. Because you can't see the drink Weird the hand gestures. You can't see the drink. She's going like this. You can't see the drink still. There's the drink. There it is. Mmm. <laughs> Sounds like it's really coming down out there. It sounded like a gunshot, but it wasn't. It was just uh, the people in the zip line hitting the springs at the end. Are you ready to see one of the most beautiful hotel lobbies you'll ever see in your life? I'm not ready yet, because there's people walking out. Hold on, I'm gonna do it again. Yum, 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 yum.